quality of life is different for everybody, right? Um, one man's burden is another man's paradise. So you really have to find out what's right for you. And that's what we tell these residents to do, is try to get the emotional side out of it. Don't go into it thinking, I'm going to compare this job against this job against this job. You'll be more confused in 30 days than the day you start. Uh, what we try to do is do some soul searching, partner with an organization that you trust. Find out what you want. You talk about that quality of life. What does that mean to you? Uh, is that schedule? Is that hours work? Is it patient seen? Is it scope of work? Is it delivery system? Is it freedom to make medical decisions that are outside of what you see in delivery health, health systems? Whatever it is, you need to be clear on what that is before you go into the job search. And I don't want to uh, belittle the other parts of looking for a career. Compensation is important, of course, right? No one wants to work for a wage that they don't think is commensurate for what they do. That being said, when you look at our market today, and you look at the employment boom across our market, the one thing that that has done for us is standardized compensation. So in essence, it's not like compensation isn't important anymore, it's that now most people are employed and you pretty much have a bar of what you're going to get out of training. Go back 10 years ago when it was all independent practices evaluating compensation and you were negotiating buyouts and call coverage and uh, collections and partnership. Uh, yeah, I get it. That's a mixed bag and, and you really didn't know what you were going to get. That's not the case. Same thing for other things that always come up in the survey. Geography will always be important, right? More for what they want versus for end up practicing, but that's a different story. Uh, and then I'll say debt. Uh, debt, of course, most residents come out with uh, a large amount of debt. That's never not going to be important in healthcare. What I would say is they started ranking it low on the list because it's being addressed. Uh, 15 years ago, you had to go work in an underserved area or maybe for a federal entity, frankly, to have your loan forgiven, forgiven or you had to get debt forgiven. Versus now, a pretty ubiquitous part of the package for all the delivery systems. So, again, it's still important, yes, they feel comfortable as being pressed. Yeah, I love that point. That's great. And something that I haven't heard a lot of before that compensation and um, and loan forgiveness are still important, but maybe there's just so much transparency around that now that it's not uh, necessarily something you have to fight for um, because organizations are willing to respond to that. That's great.